welcome back. Okay, we have one more place to go before we can, well, well, we can technically do the boss now, but before I want to do the boss, and that would be this speedway. Maybe. <laughs> Mushroom speedway, there it is. This should be fun. I like the speedway levels. Uh, I will go for time attack. <laughs> Try to flee the niche and in order. Start with oils, then get all the dandelions, the striders, and save the butterflies for that. It's not the fastest way, but it is the easiest. And in it, yeah. yeah. There we go. So yeah, this is basically just telling us how to how to do it easily and. I know the TAS charges from area to area, but it's quite difficult and I don't want to risk it. I'll just show you the way the game recommends, which is just casually flying, casually killing dandelions, which is disappointing since I love that fl pl flower, plant, thing, words that escape me. But, yeah, they are, they are huge dandelions though, That's, that, that is impressive. There's also huge bugs. These are also huge butterflies. I would be fine with huge butterflies. Because butterflies normally aren't menacing. They are the cutest things. I like to imagine they wouldn't try and hurt me if they were huge and could dominate the human race quite easily. But I might be wrong. <laughs> there we go. Not bad. I don't think there's a skill point for the speedways. I might be wrong, and if I am, I will do them again, but I don't think there is. The insects are so impressed with your flying skills, they awarded you this egg. Sabina, the teenage dragon. Base the butterflies. Okay, you're going to race the butterflies. You have to fly through all the green checkpoint rings in all in order. The red dots will lead the way. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can do that, no problem. Fair enough, no problem at all. Yeah, so just just go for the green rings. No problem, not that difficult. Some of them later on, very difficult. But this one, nah, no problem. The later ones, I don't think it works on butterflies. Oh no, it does. Yeah, you can flame them and they uh, they slow down, which is uh, almost certainly cheating. But whatever. You should see the TAS for this because it's insane. Like the the hitbox on all of the rings is completely off, so you can go underneath them and stuff and just be faster because you're not actually you are going through them even though you're technically not. It's kind of interesting to watch. There are a lot of cool things in the TAS. There are a lot of really cool glitches. I think you'd enjoy watching it. Because I've been playing for an hour 40 right now. Or I've been recording for that long. Um, and I'm nearly done with the first home world. In 50 minutes time, the person would, be, would have finished the entire game 100%. That's how fast they are. The, just, just, yeah. <laughs> the, the difference is quite amazing. When you think about it. It's, it's quite a large difference. Do I actually have enough time for this? I feel like I don't. Oh no, they don't go through all the rings, fair enough. I was gonna say, like, they seem to be going through a lot of the fast rings. I feel like I've done not enough to win. And I don't know what I could have done differently. Because you don't really get anything you can, you know, use to speed up, specifically. Apart from go through the these, I guess, but... Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down! What could I have done differently? What could I have actually done differently? I'm genuinely asking. Okay, I'm right up behind first place, and it's the beginning of the third lap. Like, what did I do differently? Like... <laughs> Did I miss a- I mean, admittedly, I wasn't paying any attention 
throughout the second lap at all. The, the first time. Maybe I didn't go through a speed ring or something? I don't know. I feel like I didn't do anything differently. But maybe I did. I apparently went four seconds faster somehow. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> John. Oh. Uh, I will go for the time attack again. There is a reason for this. I can't remember where I have to go. I feel like is it right here? Is it right here? No, it's further away. I don't remember where, but it's somewhere. Hunter's somewhere. Ah, it's behind this one because it's huge, so we can fit. Hello. A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach them some manners. Look out, sheep. Here I come. This is quite insane. It's also very loud. <laughs> my god, it's much louder than I remember. Why? Well, they are sheep and flying saucers, I can't deny that. This, the, the hunter missions are where the game just gets crazy and weird. But I like them, so I can't really complain. I think the TAS clears this in like three seconds. Just like turn, 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 done. <laughs> that was it. It's been a while since I've seen the TES, admittedly. There we go. That was loud. Check it out. The squad leader had abducted this egg. Tater. You can already fly. That is impressive. And you can wave. Aww. Well, I think it's time to leave. Uh, you're later. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Pretty successful, I think. And now it's boss time. Now I can do the boss. I feel no shame in doing it. Not that I felt any shame in doing it before, but you know. I, I want to do it now. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic. Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. Okay, let's see how to get out of here. This out of your ass. You, come here. <laughs>
When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Well, let's hope you're right with that. So, you charge it into the lava, and then Sheila will do the rest. And then run. Because it will chase you. I was going to say, where are you? <laughs> However, there is a much easier way to do this. Oh god, sometimes I forgot you do that sometimes. You just chase out, you just go after me even though I've hit you. So, exhibit A. Get close enough to the edge. And it stops then this tracks. Okay, it might do it. Sheila, get out of the way. Sheila, you ruined everything! There you go. Yeah, this is the quick way of doing it. Okay, that very rarely happens, but oh well, never mind. I love this music as well. Are you actually in that? Yes. Worth a shot, I guess. I got loads of health, it's fine. I love that sound effect. I don't know what it is, but it's such a nice sound. Uh, not a nice sound, it just works really well. It sounds interesting. Bye. I win. Imagine if Sheila pushed me in. Just imagine, that would be tragic. I'm sure that's possible, actually. Oh, to the rainbow! Well, I think that's all for now. I will see you next time in the next homeworld. Midday Garden. Goodbye.